Obviously, it's a new month this Lente, it's spring and the NWR competition is still on. Jij staat in kans om een 3000 Namibische dollar koopbewijs te winnen voor die complimenten van Namibia Wildlife Resorts. So, this whole month I've been getting DM's from people asking what's the keyword, what can I do to win? Guys, it's simple, watch COPS 94.1 and this time we made it much easier. So, COPS 94.1 is also available on Cosmos 94.1 YouTube page. You can watch the full episode there. While you're watching COPS 94.1, a keyword will pop up, you know, like an NWR, Gross Barman, NWR, Itzy. That's the keyword you put in the comment section. Like COPS 94.1 and share. But we see most of you just put the caption you don't like, you don't share. And the second come you don't win. You can win, do it. Who knows? Once you win, we might be so kind to take you on COPS 94.1. Remember COPS 94.1 every Sunday at 8 on Cosmos 94.1 Facebook page and YouTube page. And if you want to catch the action live, and elke vrijdag aan op Cosmos 94.1 van 8 tot middernacht. I'm Darren Smith. Enjoy this episode. It's a banger. Cops 94.1. Cosmos and the Ventuk City Police hot on the trail of crime in our capital. Cops 94.1. Guess what's in here? It's a wrap. Calamari wrap and chips. Uh, for a mere $64.90. I actually wanted to say $65, you still get change, but uh, this is what's inside here. I'm gonna take it out. I'm uh, entitled to take it out and uh, unfold the wrap. And inside the wrapper is the wrap. And uh... mm. now you expect me to work with a tummy like this, but that's not all. Some nice chips, or as the French call it. Look at that. Ons praat dit van chips. Fish and chips, maar dit is wat het is nie. Wrap and chips. But it's a wrap. Let's go and work after this one. Yeah. Take care. Good. What is this, brother? Measuring tape. Okay. Against the wall. What is your name, brother? You can turn around. Christian Stegeri. Huh? Christian. Oh. Okay. How much per square meter? Ah, it's too expensive. <laughs> yeah. So the above is here? Yeah. Okay. I'm so busy. No good. Yeah. Please. No, we're just waiting for someone to come pick up us. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. No, normally okay. we want to check everybody yeah, inside here. Yeah. yeah. All right, gentlemen. That's a good one. Okay. When they, see, when, 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 when they notice somebody takes it, then they know. Somebody entered. So we literally wanted to make sure for the fence here if they actually don't, don't attempt to pass or whatever. Is the issue here sorted? So the, we, the resident here once called for a complaint. Members of public, I mean criminals, once uh, came to put bottles oh as uh, timers somewhere here yeah. so as to see whether there's actual movement or whatever the case may be i think sometimes they even jumped inside or maybe they attempted to jump inside yeah so scheduled to close ten o'clock ten o'clock yes okay so by 9 30 we stop the music ten o'clock everyone should be out okay and then the other concern is also now um your 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 your, your clients yes. in terms of parking obstruction we would not want them to come and park their cars in the middle of the road or anything yes, yes. like that? Uh, we did uh, instruct the car guards okay. to let them know. As soon as they see a car, okay. even dropping off someone, yes. they need to attend to them. Yeah, and then so also in the case where you find somebody that is stubborn, yeah. you make it a point, you call us so yeah. that we can come and attend to them. 100%. Yeah, then, thank, you, thank you, then, you the then you then you also play your part in being able to do 100%. the right thing. 100%. So you are assure me that 10 o'clock, it's clear here. 9 that you can come drive by too. Okay. Even just listen whether the music is still yes. on. Please, let's, let's do it as such, yeah? Okay. No, we will work together. You are Mr? Miss, Mr. Mupeo. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Good, good. Have a good evening. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your driver's license, please. Good evening. Sorry, I have to switch just to take it out. No worries. Yeah, man. Blue papers, please.
Taxi driver, your driver's license, please. Good evening. Driver's license, please. Okay. 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 Very well. Hmm? Hello. Bye bye. Hey. Hey. Yes, good evening. There is nothing special about you. You are also contravening just like those vehicles. I will require your driver's license, please, sir. Identification documents? Something to identify you, please. Channel CBD and City South. Where is your driver's license? Uh, in the other car. I'm sorry. Are you sure you're having a license? I will check with the system. If I find out that you don't have a driver's license, that will become a straight arrest because you will be furnishing false information to me. Yeah? Right. Uh, Tango Victor, Charlie 1 1. Whiskey Alpha, can you check there for me quickly? Uh, telephone, visa telephone. Okay, Roya. Gentlemen, can I get your blue papers, please? And else, yes, the white paper. I check them on the system. City of They're all both legal. Okay. <laughs> no, that one is fine. I just want the white one. Thank you so much. Are you supposed hey, you to get up anyway? Are you supposed to be parking and loading customers here? Oh no. I'm not supposed to stop here and load customers. Why are you doing that, sir? I, it was very quick, man. I thought I would just do a quick thing. Mm. We don't do quickies. Yeah, mm. We don't do those ones here on the road. I Gentlemen, mm. here is your license. You, man. Depart from here. Yes, sir. We don't, 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 do ただこれ。こちらまにあぶてかま。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Aïe, oh. Il m'a bien dit, il n'y a pas de temps. Oh. Oui. Oh. Oui. 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 But for the purpose of safety, I want us to escort him out to the police station and then we get, compel him to get somebody with a license to come and get his car. Yeah. Mr. Yes. Whilst we are confirming whether you have a driver's license, you will drive your car up to Windhoek Police Station. We will wait there for you to obtain somebody with a driver's license to come and drive your car or bring your driver's license. No? Okay. Yes, you are just in the middle of these two cars here. Are we together? Thank you, sir. Okay, let's proceed. Court, ask the court for an extended time of payment, or you ask the court for a reduced amount? Yes. You understand? Yes. On top of that, sir, I'm officially placing you under arrest for the purpose of furnishing false information to a law enforcement officer, whilst you will know that you were warned specifically and categorically not to do so. We are going to make an example of you and send a message out to the public that when law enforcement officials are dealing with you, they need nothing but the truth. But to be able to be, give us false information and give us information that is contradictory and lying to us is a violation of the law. So we'll set a very good example with you. Do you understand? As of now, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer of your own choice at your own cost. If you're unable to afford one, you make an application with legal aid and the state will provide you with one. You will be detained here at Windhoek Police Station for the purpose of that offence and you must answer to those charges when you make an appearance in court. Do you understand that one? To never lie to a law enforcement officer. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Let's proceed. Can I, can I put in my, can I get in my car? What do you need to get in your car? My phone, put in the car and... Let's proceed. And the ticket, can I also leave it in the car? No problem. And I also need to, this is my girlfriend, I need to organise a, a key yeah. for, I mean, somebody to drive it. No problem. The key is there, as I left it with those officers. So if the person is coming, he can literally come and uh, what get... What uh, we leave the key with the girlfriend? No, no, no. We don't want somebody to drive the vehicle. So we are doing it for the purpose of safety. You understand? It's not that you are prohibited. We are giving it to somebody so that they can come and claim it properly. So no? she can get a cab or something? No, if, she, if, she's, if she's waiting for that person, she can even sit in the car. Not a problem. I think one of the most important parts in the Namibian constitution or in the law, if you're driving, it says you must have a driver's license. And if requested to prove it or to show it, Sergeant, by law or by an officer, you are, again by law, say, I must give a license. And if you don't have one, you will obviously face the law. But then lying to an officer, giving false information, that is a transgression, obviously, on its own. Definitely, Mr. Francois. And that is a common practice that is happening in our streets or within in our city where members of public believe or think that yes, they can get away with murder, they can get away with just a simple lie and so on. One thing always leads to another. As law enforcement officials, we are powered and capacitated with enough resources to be able to do, do preliminary investigations, establish and find out whether indeed this person is having a driver's license. Now imagine if this person was not having an identification document, he could be saying, I'm Francois Lottering tonight. Indeed, yeah. Whilst I'm standing with Francois, and he just decided to make up that name and they could be providing us with furnishing false information or anything as such. I think this is one way that we need to make use of to send a message out there that when we deal with members of public, we want to know the truth. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. And where there is a leeway for mercy, yes, we can, we, we might, but not to lie to an officer and make us do wrong things in the interest of trying to get away from the, of, from the, from, from the offence committed. That is also to an extent called defeating and obstructing the course of justice. Yeah, there you hear it uh, from, from Sergeant Katiti, and I personally always say it's not that difficult. You don't need a, a, a scientific degrees just to abide the law. No. It's not that difficult. It's yes. simple, it's plain, just stick to the law, Sergeant. The law was yeah. made by humans, yeah. and it requires humans to also comply with the law at all times for the purpose of peace, tranquility, and also to, have an insu to ensure that crime and disorder does not exist within our community. What happened now? What happened now? Overdose. Yes, evening. How are we? Very good.
Hey, we were busy with other visibilities, patrols, and when we got the call, a, uh, a drug-related uh, incident with me, Fabian from Auschwitz. Fabian, we arrived here, but you, he's actually a father. He actually spoke also nicely to the patient and warned him about a lot of things, but I think the most important, the health issues. Yes, yeah. it is always an important part, the health mm. issues of the patient, and we see it often that people don't drink enough fluid. Yes. So here, a lot of impact cause uh, the patient not being in the healthy state. Number one, he drinks way too little, so he drinks only two cups, while uh, a person should drink uh, around about eight to ten cups a, a day. Mm. When you drink only two cups, somehow the fuel level will be done, will be depleted. Mm. Mm. An engine without oil does not run. Indeed, yeah. And in addition, here he is um, smoking weed, mm -hmm. which was uh, adding up on top because smoking weed puts your body in a um, ecstasis state, something like that, mm -hmm. pushes you up. But when there's no fuel, when there's no um, oil in your body system, then you will be depleted. And mm -hmm. that caused him to collapse. Mm -hmm. And the aunt who was uh, very worried mm -hmm. about him. Yeah. She called us then. And now we will bring him to the hospital for further treatment. Yeah and also to check up that the kidneys at the yeah. back are working very well. They have it and as you can see uh, the ambulance is going to be able to prepare them and they are going to with the patient. And I think every time as our community, come and look at our kids, come and look at our family members. Fabian, how can I start realizing or look at what are some of the symptoms that some of my family members, my colleagues, my neighbors are on the wrong side with drugs and stuff like that? On yeah. the wrong side of drugs, it's often a change of living style. Mm -hmm. they, they depends on which drugs they, they let mm -hmm. themselves go, or they become super hyperactive, mm -hmm. and so a complete change mm -hmm. of the person, and then you realize often he is becoming a, a different mm -hmm. person. A change of mindset that they mm -hmm. becoming more aggressive or more sleepy yeah. depends yeah. on. There's so many drugs out there, mm -hmm. uh, but what is important? None of the drugs are good, none of the drugs helps you, all the drugs destroy your body. They have it, come and see what in the rest of the city is going to happen until midnight. Yeah, where is this valley? Oh, please. Okay. So from here, yeah. I... Okay, do you remember which day we have today? What? Which? What is it today? It's Friday. It's Friday. And the date? Of which month? Are you, sure, are you sure September? October. Okay, and year? 2023. Okay. Do you know where we are? In Rocky Crest. Okay. You staying here? Okay. Good. So, this must get checked up. No? Do I pay for hospital? Come again? Yes. We can also bring you to get a tour. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This is not a lady bomb, I live in the show. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Just, she's, she's, yeah. she's a bit tarry card now. Yeah. Okay. Did, um, my dear? Did you um, smoke anything? No. Not? I just had one, but I don't know a uh, one what? Uh, one Bacardia. Bill Gravia. Oh, it's, 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 it's modern drinks. I don't know what they are. Uh, it's, it's a cider. <coughs> it's a cider. Okay. I just Good. I will look you quickly in your eyes. Just check here on my nose. Yeah. And you know we are not police or anything like this. You can be honest to us. No weed or anything like this. Mm -hmm. I just had that thing. Okay, good. Um, no, the, the pupils are just a bit slow to reaction to light. No. Thank you. Okay, we put this around your arm to measure your blood pressure. Going to take peak. Um, how, how big is the laceration on top? Centimeters. A small laceration, okay. She got the door. No, I can't see. We got the call through G4S. They said 
two people injured, severely injured. That's the reason why we dispatched directly two ambulances, the yeah. one from EMA, our first responder unit and the Guardian Angels. Yeah. And they all responded immediately. Luckily, on arrival, it was only one person injured. And she got, actually, the, the, the people tried to break in with violence. They locked the door, but they still tried to hold the door. And then, yeah. while they forcefully opened the door, she got the door pushed against her face. So she has a swollen cheek now. He has a yeah. small laceration on the head and uh, most probably a slight concussion and with that now the colleagues bring her to the hospital for checkup because unfortunately as good we are we cannot check what is going on in the head yeah. in the brain for that we need x-rays that is the good news from Pierre. in hierdie straat en ek weet nee ek weet ek weet ek weet nou hier is my raad hier is my raad nou of my voorstel okay en hoe kom create jy dan ook 'n soort van 'n bierdag as jy gemist hebt, we gaan saam staan. Wat gaan volgende gebeur is? Ons kan nie ons wees nie, ja. Ons speel. Da was gun rovery net a straat onder hier. En da was a roof met gun en hulle het bij elkaar was aangehaad. En ons het aangeklaad. En ons het aangeklaad, hy was twee maanden gelede. En toe denk ons die politie sal kyk hoe die straat gaan. Maar tot vandaag de van onze straat, die is er vier. En die rivier vier is altijd oop. Ons was met Ghana, dat het alles wat die dag. Toen klaar ons die story aan, maar niemand het niks gemaakt. Tot vandaag toe, dat het niet gebeurd is. En toen denk ons, oké, politie te kom, en toen sê hulle, hulle sal dit recht maak. Hier het ons nog weer een geval. Ken jy die mens wat hulle nou geroof het? Yes, ek het blij hier. Ek het blij hier, by hier is het. Ons huis was geroof, paar dagen geleden, my phone, ons TV, alles was gevat, met kanne. Toe sal hulle sal recht maak, hulle sal kyk, hulle sal kyk, en nou, vandag, daar het weer gebeur. Imagine, we said it, and we said, this was gonna happen again. Now they did it, and now they did it, why we're not around. And now we came around and we're like, that happened again. Da, go for the beer. So, how about it, Gaya? No, I hear you say, but you can't be all over the world. The state is bigger than us, so we can't be all over the world. So as I can imagine, I'm going to get a beer for a beer. And all that you have to do, you don't have to do it, you don't have to do it, as you have to do it every day. As ons altijd iets zien, even bij de shop. Als ons iets zien, zal ons altijd bij jou. Maar als ons al bij jou, maar dan gaat bij jou goed doen. Je zal altijd komen. Zo gaan we gaan aan. En ons, ik wil zeggen dat we daar aan door gaan. En ons dat er vier langs zijn. Vier vier is al vaak. Van hele kom, hele hoe hele ze kar, taken. Dat is wat we laten aankloppen. Wat is dat? Dat is de highway. Dat is de highway. Dat is de highway. Zo wat er dan? Cops 94.1 on this Friday night was actually very quiet. Occasional instances with me, Sergeant. I told us, Sergeant, tonight more focused on it seems me drug and substance related than anything else. Yeah, and the the disturbing part about it is the fact that it's mostly the youngsters. Yes. They are mixing drugs with alcohol, and these are young kids, 21 years and younger, and they. Go to an extent of even you know disturbing people at home, threatening their mothers and grandmothers. It's really sad. But as a parent, you play a vital role when it comes to your kids. I mean, you are buying a child a vape. You think they will do what with vape? Obviously, they are going to smoke, and whatever they are smoking through that vape, you have no control over. So as a parent, you need to take charge, and only you know buy your kids things that are adding value to their lives. Things like vape are things that I don't advise. It's not even love. You are spoiling your child to an extent that they are going to become something else in the future. So really, it's not a good thing uh, for a parent. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, the festive season is literally around the corner. We're also going to start focusing more on house safety, personal safety, vehicle safety as uh, we progress uh, to the festive season. Sergeant, thank you so much for being part and parcel of COPS 94.1. And I think from us from COPS 94.1 from Cosmos, an honor working with our colleagues from the Vindic City Police, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Mm.
Volgende keer vrijdag, maak ons weer so. Kops 94.1 met Cosmos en die Vintingse Stadspolitie.